Hello and welcome to the British Tap and today we're talking about staying warm with those chunky jumpers and mid layers. So the good old weather in the UK hasn't let me down. It's uh, quite autumnal now, quite a cold day today and it made me think about us wearing some warmer clothing and those mid layers in the uh, preceding months as we head towards uh, autumn and winter more like conditions and so just a short video today just touching on the potentials for sartorially wearing jumpers and waistcoats uh, and that sort of thing as we head into more winter conditions so a great advocate for those thick, chunky jumpers, uh, cardigans. They're great for this time of the year uh, as a, a layer on their own right or underneath a coat or a jacket just to give you that extra warmth and protection from the elements. And uh, one of my go-tos for this time of the year is that roll neck jumper um, looking for an off-white or a cream coloured thick wool, 100% uh, wool jumper, gives you that extra layer of protection and with uh, an overcoat over that you get quite a good look, even with a pair of jeans and a pair of brogue shoes, quite a casual look but very warm at this time of the year and uh, not a bad look. The other thing to consider is that those thinner roll neck jumpers are great as a mid layer as well and they go exceptionally well with a tweed jacket or uh, something along those lines and even underneath a coat if it's getting quite winter like conditions the other thing to think about is adding that extra layer with a v-neck jumper or for example a crew neck jumper in those winter months or as it gets a little bit cooler great underneath a barber jacket or a even under a suit jacket if the material is fine enough so for example those lamb wools those um, merino wool jumpers that are very fine knit they go exceptionally well underneath a suit jacket goes well with a suit or even with a tweed jacket just to give a little bit more of an extra layer but really effective for keeping that warm thin. Whereas traditionally you might just wear a shirt and a tie, that gives you that little extra layer. And they're not just in V-necks or crew necks, you could also go for a cardigan or even a sleeveless version of one of those three. So quite good for that extra mid layer and to give you a little bit more warmth uh, in those cooler months. But if we head in really into much more colder conditions, then we're looking at those chunky jumpers and something that could give you something a little bit more robust protection in the winter months. So for example, this burnt orange jumper here is a really thick one, great underneath a layer of uh, another coat or as it is, and also with a pair of jeans or a pair of shoes, quite a good look for this time of the year especially in October for those autumn periods but also goes well in its own right. Those cable knit jumpers are great at this time of the year as well because it gives a little bit of texture uh, not only texture but also patination to an overall look and gives a little bit more detail and can create quite a bit of interest in its own right. And let's not forget about those pattern jumpers as well. So Fair Island jumpers, those sort of things go really well at this time of the year. Uh, those patterns go really well. And again, you could go for those sleeveless versions of those just to give your main torso some extra protection. But also it's quite a good look with a pair of uh, corduroy trousers or those moleskin trousers. At this time of the year but also they could go quite well with a pair of flannel trousers which gives you that extra bit of warmth at this time of the year 
So another thing to consider though is that the use of waistcoats, whilst I have some tweed waistcoats I use in the summer to give me a little bit more warmth, in the autumn and winter periods, they go really well underneath a jacket or a coat to give you that extra layer of protection. And in this case, um, we're using a wool waistcoat and it's a camel color goes exceptionally well under a tweed jacket and uh, the detail in a waistcoat I think makes uh, a shirt and a tie stand out a little bit more and uh, gives you that extra layer of protection but you could also use those velvet waistcoats they're quite nice you give a very nice aesthetic um, with not only a tweed jacket but also other forms of uh, jacket as well or a indeed a suit for those uh, special occasions potentially but a waistcoat's great because it does give you that a little bit of extra detail as well and you can add a pop of color to something that can potentially look quite bland so if you're wearing very neutral colors a brighter colored waistcoat adds that pop of interest and color so it's quite a good look overall and it does give your torso a little bit more protection in the winter months. So just touching on a few subjects there for you about that period we're now leaning into or heading towards. And it's the cooler time of the year. So we do need to start thinking about those extra little layers. And uh, I think jumpers, cardigans, waistcoats are a good way of add that mid layer to your overall look. So I'm interested in what you think, let me know. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did give us a thumbs up, if you'd like to subscribe, then please feel free to do so. We have a buy me a coffee page. So if you'd like to make a contribution to the channel, then please feel free to do so. We also love constructive comments. So if you'd like to make some, jot them down below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And if you've got a question you'd like to pose to us, or you'd like an answer to, then why not jot it down? We'll try and answer your question for you. We also like ideas for future videos. So if you want to make a contribution and make a, a suggestion about future content, then please, again, jot it in the notes below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. The next video could be something that you've recommended or suggested. So until next time, take care.